A recent report from UNICEF shows that the United States now ranks 34th out of 35 developed nations when it comes to child poverty, meaning that the U.S. has the second highest level of child poverty in the developed world. We just barely beat Romania. Way to go, America. Way to go. Now, of course, in this report, child poverty was measured by the percentage of children aged 0 to 17 living in households with equivalent incomes below 50% of the median income. Okay, the median national income. Now, the report also says that the average poor child living in the U.S. household makes 36% less than the relative poverty line. Now, to put this in perspective, the federal poverty line is $19,530 for a couple with one child, $15,510 for a single-parent family with a single child. Now, anything under that means that you are in poverty. Now, income inequality, of course, has a huge role in this. According to UNICEF, the, U the U.S. economy is one of the most unequal economies in the entire developed world. Come on, America, there's no excuse for that. Now, do you know what countries actually topped this list? Of the 35 countries surveyed, the top five countries with the lowest child poverty rates were Finland, the Netherlands, Denmark, Iceland, and Norway. Those are countries that have rather generous safety nets, and they seem to be doing quite well economically. It seems like they recovered or weren't even affected by the recession at all. Generous safety nets. And look at that. Socialized programs. Hmm. Now, because a strong safety net helps kids stay out of poverty and helps them perform in the classroom, it actually gives them a better shot at succeeding in life. Keeping kids out of poverty makes sense, and it helps them for the future. I think this report is incredibly sad. And Republican politicians tend to be the ones that block these social safety net programs. In fact, the House just passed a massive cut to food stamps in the Farm Bill, just recently. And yet they claim to be trying to give everyone opportunity. We're the party of opportunity. Here's some bootstraps. Enjoy. I already gave you, I already gave you bootstraps. What else do you need? Pull yourself up by them. Oh, you can't concentrate because you're hungry? Nope, oh, not my problem. I gave you bootstraps, good enough. Anymore, you'll become dependent. It's ridiculous. And of course, there's that whole pro-life angle that they love to say. But how can you be claimed to be pro-life when you do shit like this? Oh, you're pro-birth. But when it comes to feeding children and keeping them out of poverty... You're on your own, buddy. Not my problem. No, they're not They're not pro-life. They're not really pro-life. No, they don't have principles. They only care about the money. These politicians, they only care about the money. They're not really pro-life. They care about money, corporations, and their rich donors. And basically what they want to do is they want to rob from the poor to give even more to the rich. And it's worked. I mean, poor people, children, children used to be the highest beneficiaries of food stamps until just recently, where people of working age, working age adults that have jobs, just recently became number one for benefits. But children and the elderly are not far behind because they also benefit greatly from social programs like food stamps and Medicaid. And you cut these programs, and you increase poverty. And that's exactly what the Republicans are trying to do. Create more poverty. And look, we've got more than enough money to keep children out of, out of poverty. We do. But apparently, according to some of our politicians, 
No, we've got enough money for corporations. We've got enough money to give subsidies to oil companies, to give $100 billion in corporate welfare out. But we don't have enough to keep, we don't have enough to feed our children to keep our kids out of poverty. We really have to change our priorities, America. We're doing it wrong. We're doing it wrong.